This is Booga. It's Kyle Booga Geersdorf. Booga Geersdorf. Booga! He won the Fortnite Solo World Cup. There's no way anyone beats him. Your Fortnite World Champion, Booga! Quite convincingly. But with him winning by almost double the points of second place. He is so good, his name is literally used to describe being good at Fortnite. I know, but I'm Booga. Like Google, Coke, and Starbucks. But after the World Cup, he wasn't great. He was good, but not great. He came in 26 in Season X trios. Struggled in Squad FNCS coming in 21st. Al Booga, rifle and stretch, kind of caught themselves in that weird situation. Oh and no! What? In Season 2, he bounced back, coming in 5th in duos with Stretch. Then 4th in Solo FNCS. 3rd in Stark Season, but still drew criticism because he had the best drop spot. In Season 5, he teamed up with Clix and Bizzle, and they won 3 games in Grand Finals, but only managed 5th place. And then, the infamous Season 6. They got contested off spawn and failed to make it past heats. Clix, Booga, and Bizzle had big egos about it and just wanted to put their mark on this and were willing to throw an entire season of FNCS. He found a new trio in Season 7, and while he got back to Grand Finals, he came in 10th. People began to wonder, will he ever reach his World Cup heights again? Enter Miro. Miro had more eliminations than any any East player, Chapter 2 Season 4 to Chapter 2 Season 6. Today we know Miro as the game's best ever controller player. By far the most decorated controller player in Fortnite history, Miro has won more FNCSs on NA East than any other player, with 5 total crowns. And back then he was already up there. He burst onto the scene at the end of 2020, winning the Stark Season FNCS with Reverse and Day. Fourth in season five, and first again in season six with an all time solo clutch. And Miro might just be as quick as a flash here. He's gonna walk you through the side. He oh. finds two. That's one, oh and that's the second. After their win in season six, he and Day tried to leave Reverse to play with Booga, but it caused a stir. Oh, and now we found out who is replacing Reverse 2K, and it's none other than the World Cup solo champion, Booga. So this has just caused a massive trickle-on effect to all the other teams. This is the snake inning that I was expecting. They ended up playing one last season together, but ended in 15th. So, for Season 8, he teamed up with Booga. With Booga and Miro. And they needed a third player. They shocked the world and picked up an OCE player. But not just any OCE player, Muzz. Muzz was the two-time defending OCE FNCS champion. And in Season 7, he and his trio moved to North America to try and prove themselves on a bigger stage. But they failed to make grants. Team OCE, Muzz, Looter, and Speedy did not make top 17, so they're not even in the reboot round. They are done. So, Muzz joined this budding super team. They qualify for Grand Finals pretty easily. Yeah, nice, let's go, boys! But in store, they had one of the most intense Grand Finals on any region. It had multiple super teams. Miro's former teammate and two-time FNCS winner Day teamed up with Jamper and Tragics. Stretch teamed up with Scented and Commandment. Kanata with Degen and Agers. So let's get right onto it. Let's get right into it. After nine games, it's Muzz, Miro, and Booga, right? Booga, your World Cup champion that hasn't found that FNCS win, right? And now of him, Miro, who has won, and now Muzz, who's come over from OCE, won their wins here with Booga. They had a lead. This is huge. This is pivotal for the entire leaderboard. This opens things so much up for Jamper, Day, and Tragics. But they left the door open for Jamper, Day, and Tragics. Can they pop off here and pop themselves into that number one slot, overtake Boogamiro and Muzz? Who capitalized? Tragics, Jamper, and Day have the foothold onto the backs of Acers and Kanata here, and they're looking to win this one out. We absolutely have ourselves a trio tournament right here. Day's gonna drop down and even just instantly win it so far. The shots all connect from a perfect pitch from every single- In game 12, again, they got in trouble. Miro is Miro down in the mid game in this game and they rolled on here a little bit late and fully finished. And Cask is now rotating too. This is now way too many players in this. This could be absolutely devastating for them. Indeed, they lost oh, their no. players. They're below the surge. This is exactly what we were worried about happening. But Booga manages to get precious storm surge. 11 below so nice. far. 76, he's hit the shots. Booga has hit the shots he needs to do so far. Reboot Miro, but Day and Tragics and Jamper push them back off. But 
it was quickly back to shambles as they rotated. And shout out to Resub for the well-timed joke. They can do 69 players still alive. That is nice. 69. <laughs> In almost 12 seconds. No, he's active. Muzz goes down. Nice. Time. Booker hits the shots. He connects. He gets a knock. Manages to hit even more damage onto that body, but they're still. Oh my god. The finish comes out from Booger. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Two critical eliminations by Booger. One HP left. Can Miro find some tags oh. for his trio? He can. It's more points as well. That could be the difference maker. Booga's still going here. No, and down no. he goes. He has earned seven points for his team there. Going into endgame, Jamper, Tragics, and Day take a height and have the chance to steal the tournament. They are going to need Elims if they want to win the entire tournament. Siphon is going to be what separates him to stay alive and no. And the world waited in bated breath. I think it could be three points. But. Oh! oh! By seven oh! points, your champions in Chapter 2, Season 8. It's Muzz, a winner from OCE. Come on over to NA East to get a win. It is Miro, another winner yet again. Three-time champion in NA East. And your World Cup champion. Bro, Jamper got 30 points. Alice Brady died early. They didn't beat us. us. Bro, if Jamper got 30 points. Oh my god, we won! Let's go! I swear to God, we won. No, no, I swear to God, I swear to God. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh my God. Wait, did it did we actually won? Yes, by seven points, bro. Let's go. Good job, bro. Keep playing, bro. Let's go, bro. Oh my God, I don't even feel like happy because I just sold. No, no fucking way, man. Go, bro. Just like that. Booga is back on top, but he didn't have long to bask in the glory because Fortnite was ending the year off with an even bigger tournament, the FNCS Grand Royale. The FNCS Grand Royale. It was actually qualifiers for the main event, not the finals, but just to put into perspective how much money was on the line, this is the biggest event in 2021 and the biggest event since the Fortnite World Cup. At the last second, Miro and Booga decided to move on from Muzz. But Booga, Muzz, and Miro splitting up is real. The team that just won the last NA East FNCS a few weeks ago has now already split up the day before Grand Royale. But business is business and they replaced Muzz with Dukes. Today we know Dukes as a three-time FNCS winner, all with different teammates. At that point, he was the Season 7 champion and one of the greatest up-and-coming players on the region. While the Season 8 FNCS was close, coming down to the last game, the Grand Finals was different. Dead. Got it. Six builds, Dukes. Six builds. Wait, Dukes, you can drop to me, bro. You can drop to me, Dukes. I'm here, yeah, I'm here, I don't I'm have mats. I don't. Okay, okay. Wait, see the. Do you have harpoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I got one. I got one. Wait, back home, dead. I got a body. I got a body. Okay, I'm coming. I have good mats. You gotta go for that. Go for that. Place far, place far. On my wall, on my wall. Brody, Dukes, you can get to me. Crazy Dukes. Dukes, get to me, get to me. I have a tarp. Down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. I have no mats. I have one build. One build. Take no mats. Take mats. There, I have two builds. Pop another big. We drop one. Wait, what's bro? How you did so shams? Look up. They dropped on my roof. On my wall, on my wall, it's a solo. Ready? Yeah, right. One dead, dead, dead. Get my mats. Get those mats. We chop solo on height. Yeah, chop them, chop them. Heights out. 130. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. I don't have mats. I don't have mats. We need. Get to me, get to me, get to me. Okay. I'm popping minis. Take my sigmas. Fucking crazy, bro. Drop? They're just gonna drop and spray. We have to drop. We got bloom. That's okay, okay, it's okay. Good second, guys. Good second. You can clutch this. That's what we do. Nah, you guys. That's the best thing he can offer this team, but no, they steal it away. Miro shuts that down, cancels that. There's the HP he needs, and Miro follows up. 30? One, 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 one. Dead, dead, dead. I got the match. I got the match. One HP. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. Get focus. Looking up. I died. I died. Top three. Top three. Go for top two. Let's go. Let's go. I Let's think we go. won, bro. Did we do it? They dominated, winning by over 50 points. Booga, I believed in you, baby. Not only did you just win Chapter 2 Season 8 literally less than a month ago, you came back, boy. You came back to win the Grand Royale. We did, bro. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go.
Booga and Miro had formed the foundation of a back-to-back -back FNCS win, with Epic announcing 2022 would be the year of duos. They had the opportunity to own the region. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fortnite Chapter 3, my first game on. It's a brand new map. Chapter 2 turned to Chapter 3. And while pro players generally did not love the new meta, the biggest thing we all know about this season is that it's heavily a spray meta. When FNCS came around, Booga and Miro were ready, barely qualifying to Grands in the first week of qualifiers. But in Grand Finals, they were up to their old tricks, consistently getting to endgame and stacking up eliminations. They had a huge lead after 10 games, which they managed to extend in game 11, all but wrapping up the tournament. Booga might be down, but we talked about it. You eliminate one, you have to deal with the others. He drops in another four points over. He'll get taken out, but a top six performance from Booga and Miro. It has to feel like it's been enough. Completing one of the most epic runs in Fortnite history and the three-peat that saved Booga's career. Whoa, whoa. Here. Miro got his fifth FNCS championship. To this day, it's still the best on the region. Not two, not three, not four, not five. They were not bad since the three-peat. They came top three in the next two grand finals, but underperformed at the FNCS Invitational in Raleigh. And then in chapter four, they split and have still performed well in season one and two FNCS. Napoleon once said, glory is fleeting, but obscurity is forever. So we hope Booga can take notes from another goat and get around to another 3P. If you enjoyed this, like, sub, and check out our other videos.